I want to bring to the notice of our viewers that all the enumerators we spoke to at ORG who came back from the field after having conducted the survey spoke about the use of excessive money power. The sense they gave us is that every voter in Tamil Nadu now expects between 3,000 to 5,000 rupees as his legitimate right for casting a vote in favor of a particular party. That's the sense our enumerators gave us. Krishna Ananda, the wry smile on his face. Explain, you come from Chennai, you have your nose closest to the ground. Explain this uh, startling, it seems, shift from a pro AIDMK wave to a situation where it's now very close to call. Well, I think, you know, from the beginning, if we looked at, you know, uh, the political arithmetic, it was a close fight. It was a close fight. And it looked like, you know, when we had the opinion poll that is uh, uh, somewhere between 20th and 23rd, uh, it looked like uh, the DMK had uh, uh, had, had uh, uh, gone through some kind of a demoralization. There was a spectrum scam charge sheet there in the air. I mean, there was talk that Kanimuri's name is going to be there. Now, on, or, I mean, on the face of it, like, you know, I mean, this thing did not happen. It happened after the elections. So that could have, that could have sort of, you know, um, uh, led to the DMK's demoralization going down. Now about money. The election commission had actually sort of, you know, seized a bag full of currency at a point of time, which was wrapped with a, a, a page from the voter list with a few names ticked as to whom the money should be given. Money was given. I think, you know, I mean, nobody makes some, uh, I mean, nobody hides. In fact, there's also another thing. There were places where 100 rupees was first given and they said, OK, fine. This is what you took from me when you gave me the coupon for the color television. Now you get uh, given it back. Now give me money for voting. So when, when things the discourse gets onto this thing, I really do not think that you know people are trading their votes. I think they're just telling like I mean I know you have made money. You give me a part of it, and I am going to go there and vote. So when that uh, seems to be the attitude, I think you know the, the I mean it probably sort of you know may not be reflected honestly even in. Uh, in the course of talking to enumerators. Okay. Professor Gupta, what this would also indicate is despite all the corruption, the 2G scam, etc., etc., which in Delhi is considered very important, uh, the voters in Tamil Nadu, and as Professor Kumar says, especially in rural Tamil Nadu, are still prepared to back the DMK? Well, yes, I think um, uh, scandals of this kind are usually problems that afflict, afflict the urban population. And I think it also shows that uh, how far Delhi is from Tamil Nadu. You know? So this, the, that in three weeks' time, this huge shift like this took place, only demonstrates the distance. I would also like to point out, yesterday we were discussing Calcutta, Bengal, and we said there was a huge voter turnout, which was supposedly good for the opposition. There's been a huge turnout again. I think it has stopped what had happened in 1967. And 1967, as you know, was a very important year for, for Tamil Nadu. And what does this mean? It probably it means that there is something called, which I think we election specialists, I'm not really one, but election specialists must pay attention to. I think there's something called positive incumbency factor at work. You know, incumbency is now becoming an advantage rather than a disadvantage. And this is a mechanism which you must pay attention to if what the poll suggests is right. Um, as you know, uh, it's just been said that money is being, you know, easily transacted. And that can only be done if you have you know, organizational strength on your side, which is again something that a government in power can easily facilitate rather than a government, rather than an opposition that is waiting to come to power. Last point, I think the reason why it's so, so close to call, it should have been close to call even in 2006, because if you were to look at the voting share, you'll find something quite disproportionate happening, disproportionate. For example, you have the DMK with roughly 27% of the votes, getting 91 seats, and the AI DMK with 31%, more than the DMK, getting 61 seats. So the whole thing is so disproportionate. Given the disproportionality of it all, I'm not surprised that this should be a close call. It should have been close call even then, because we are now looking at vote share. We're not looking at seats exactly. What he just said about you know wasted, <laughs> wasted votes, the surplus votes, the redundant votes, all of that will have to be factored in once the seats come into the picture. But I think the positive incumbency factor is one that this has been an election where there's been huge turnout you know, and defies our earlier logic. And third, that corruption is something that bothers people in urban areas, not in rural areas, because most people in rural areas are used to a patronage style politics and corruption is patronage writ large.